The number 36 is three times as large as 12. Write this comparison as a multiplication equation. So they're saying that the number 36, so we'll type 36, is equal to three, three times 12. And I use this little star thing. Let's see, if I would have put an x there, would that have worked as well? No, they would have viewed that as 3x. So if I put this, so to get this little star thing, which is normally when you're typing on a computer, how you show multiplication, that to get that, you have to press shift and shift and the number eight. And it also sometimes shows up on a numeric keypad. But by doing that, I was able to show multiplication. So this could be read as 36 is equal to three times 12, or 36 is three times as large as 12. Let's check our answer. Got it right, let's do a couple more of these. We can compare the numbers four and 20 using addition by saying that 20 is 16 more than four. Fair enough, that's right. We could also compare four and 20 using multiplication. Fill in the blank correctly to compare the numbers four and 20 using multiplication. So they're saying 20 is blank times as large as four. Well, we know that four times five is 20, or that five times four is 20. So 20 is five times as large as four. If I take four five times, I'll get to 20. So let me check my answer. There you go. Let's do one more. The number six is three times as large as two. Write this comparison as a multiplication equation. So once again, we could write that six is equal to two, and then I press shift and the number eight to get that times symbol, that little asterisk snowflake looking thing, two times three. So I could write it like that, or I could write two times three is equal to six. Either of those would be completely valid things to say. So here I'm saying six is, well, I could say, actually I'd like to say it this way. I'd like to say three times as large as two. I think that's a little bit more fun. So this is exactly six is three times as large as two. And we're done.